Now, you uh, probably know me from such works as The Office and Extras, uh, uh, Stephen being my um, co-writer and co-director on those things. For those people who are not so aware of Carl Pilkington, um, he was our producer, sort of given to us when we first started on uh, XFM. Um, and uh, you're thinking, well, why are we doing a podcast? It's because I like to be in a room with Carl Pilkington. Mm. You know, like some people go and help sort of chimps. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. <laughs> well, they go to the, the you know, the, yeah, the, the jungles about, and things. And yeah. help out little sort of endangered Dian species. Fossey or whatever. Exactly, You're yeah. very much the Diane Fossey of the, of the, 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 of the Manchester of, scene. Of the, of the uh, little bald mank world. <laughs> and Carl Pilkington is is an ongoing experiment for me because I've seen him blossom from an idiot into an imbecile. <laughs> and yeah. I, want, I want to see it through. Look at the way he's looking at us. Look at that. He's got a perfectly round head. Um, and that's why I'm doing this... Um, podcast. Carl, what do you think about all this? Um, it's just, I mean, we are living in that sort of era now, aren't we? Like, you need to, yeah, to listen to stuff on demand when you want it and stuff. I know yeah. you, you're you not a fan of the iPod in general, are you, or any of the MP3 things? You're concerned. Uh, it's, I'm warming to it, but... This is what's amazing about Carl. Even though he's talking about things like MP3 players, computers, uh, iPods, he sounds like he's he was found in a glacier and, and thawed out. <laughs> yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And sort of taught to yeah. speak. We're, we're a couple of high school guys who found him <laughs> and we're, taking, we're trying to ingratiate him in the uh, in the gang, trying yeah. to pass him off as someone from the modern day. No, I no, but, but my thing with, with iPods is... Now, do we need them? Do you know what I mean? We're, we're living in that era now where we have invented most of the stuff that we need <laughs> and now we're just messing about they said that in 1900 someone actually said everything that's to be invented has already been invented they what? said that in 1900 and how wrong were they no but what what came out what, at what point what was invented in that year where they went right that's it now the 20th century think what happened in the 20th century go on well planes yeah but is that a good thing planes and that do you need to do you need a plane really wouldn't it have been better if we all stuck where we should be instead of traveling about war Why? war well look wars wars happening isn't it because everyone's saying well now we can fly we'll go over there so there were no that. wars prior to the invention of the airplane not like not like there is today right but what i'm saying is the more the the world's got smaller on it everyone's saying that right yeah. uh you know the way i was saying to you the other day uh you know we now go to places where we shouldn't go. People go on holiday to places where you've got to have an injection before you go there. Yeah. Forget it then. That, yeah. that, that's a warning. Don't well, go there. I'm with you on that. I, I, I don't want to enter a country where I have to have an injection to stop me from dying while I'm in that country. Right, I totally agree with you on that. So what yeah. happened is, so they invented the plane and it's like, oh, let's go on holiday. And then they go, oh, I die now. Oh, well, you've got to invent something. Let's invent an injection. And then it's like, right, well, what, what else do we need to go to that place? There's a lot of faffing. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying is... I'm, is that I'm, a place, a lot of faffing? What, what I'm saying is, you know, Steve's travelled more than I have. You've been to, like, dangerous places. I've been to places where you need injections, yeah. Yeah, but why? Because it's fascinating, isn't it? You know, don't you not believe in that idea of uh, travel broadens the mind? You know, well, it makes you experience other ways of life, other ways of thinking. It just enriches you as a human being. That's the whole reason people go travelling. Well, since the invention of the telly, you don't have to go that far to see it. You're absolutely it. right. 